Okay, I'm gonna say it up front before I even get started. Trigger warning on this video, so if you're not up for it, keep scrolling. This person posted this comment in response to the video I did about the six types of trauma responses with a particular emphasis on flop because a lot of people don't know about that one. So a couple things I need to say. First and foremost, make sure that you know you feel safe and steady and that you're in a safe space if you're listening to information like this. Second of all, let me remind you that this is not therapy. I'm not your therapist. And this is intended to just help educate and provide information because knowledge is power. And when we can put a word to something, it gives us so much clarity. And lastly, keep the conversation, comments, and questions coming because it is fantastic and amazing. All right, let's dive in. One of the main questions I got was what's the difference between freeze and flop? And some people even tried to say they were the same thing. And I'm gonna use two different animals as an example to help you understand it because animals do this too. So when you think freeze, think of a deer. Whether it's caught in the headlights or they hear a sound in the woods, what do they do? They freeze. Their heart rate increases getting ready to run if they need to. Their hearing improves, their vision improves, and they get really still so that they can focus. This is normally where we cultivate things like hypervigilance and hyperawareness and get an elevated startle response. On the flip side of that is flop. Think of a possum. When faced with what it thinks is life-threatening danger, the possum will faint or play dead. Its heart rate slows down tremendously. Its muscles go relaxed, it gets very still. Not still in the frozen way a deer is where they're tense, still as in like how you would be still if you fainted. And fainting is one of the symptoms of flopping. And it's an effective mechanism. Think about how they say to play dead when there's a bear. It not only can minimize the focus on you and the level of attack that's coming toward you, but at the same time, your brain is using body resources to protect you. If inescapable pain is coming, your brain will release chemicals more powerful than morphine so that you don't feel it as much. You ever hear people who go through something and don't really feel it or don't know they're injured until they see it? That's what's happening. So this is a very basic definition and description of the differences between freeze and flop. Next video is going to be on dissociation.